My American friends have just had Thanksgiving. And now we are moving into the biggest eating season of them all, Christmas. So how do we enjoy this holiday without destroying all the hard work we have put in to developing our bodies into healthy, lean, mean fitness machines? Well, today on Fit and 50, I'm going to give you a few of my favorite tips and tricks on how to enjoy the holidays without ruining your gains. First tip, eat those cookies that grandma makes. It might be your wife or your mother or your grandmother, but they always have that one special treat that they only make at this time of year. Whether it be shortbread cookies or gingerbread cookies, enjoy that treat. Have that sweet, but in turn, pass by on some of the more regular treats that may be at the buffet table and enjoy those that are special just to the season. Also, maybe it goes without saying, but Christmas time is a bad time to start a diet. We make fun of the New Year's resolutioners, but trying to start a diet at Christmas time is a recipe for disaster. And those of you that are already on a diet, take Christmas and set it up as maintenance. So during this time, your goal is to maintain your weight through the holiday season and worry about getting back to the weight loss goals after the Christmas season is done. The other thing that I strongly encourage is that during the holidays, we increase the amount of exercise we do. And I call everything exercise and training, but what I really mean by this is take 10 or 15 minutes a day and do a real brisk walk. You could do it after dinner, or you could do some calisthenics in the morning. But one of the great things about doing uh, exercise first thing in the morning when you get up is it sets your mind right for the day and really prepares you and reminds you that you have goals that are bigger than the holiday season. When you're going to an event and you know there's going to be a lot of food, make sure that you don't skip meals leading up to the event. A lot of people try to conserve calories before they go someplace where they know there'll be a lot of food. But usually all that happens is they end up hitting the buffet table starving and it just sets yourself up to overeat. You are better off to cut a few extra calories the next day after the big event than to starve yourself before the event. Another good reminder is to make sure you keep eating your fruits and vegetables. Not only are they highly nutritious, low in calories and very filling, but they're high in fiber and this fiber will help your body to process these holiday meals. Now when you approach a buffet table, don't just go to the end, grab your plate and go through the table. Make sure first you survey the table and see what items it is that you really enjoy to eat. And then when you go through the lineup, only choose those items. Be careful with your alcohol consumption. Not only is alcohol high calorie, but it lowers your inhibitions, making it more likely that you'll overeat. And step away from the buffet table. If there's a buffet table or a snack table there, make sure you take your portion and then leave the table. If you end up having a conversation right at the snack table, you can start mindlessly eating and you totally lose track of how much food you have eaten. If you plan your own event, make sure there are activities planned that aren't about food. Whether they be take a walk or play a game, maybe check out the Christmas lights in the neighborhood. But so many events nowadays seem to center around the food. When you go to a function, if you see a friend who shares similar goals than you, sit with them and you can draw encouragement from each other. So those are my tips and tricks. Put in the comments any suggestions that you have, things that you have done that have helped you get through the holiday season. And until then, enjoy the holidays, have some fun, keep your gains. We are gonna keep hard at it through the holidays and after. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50, signing out. Keep working out, keep having fun, and we will talk to you again in that next video.